So what's the limit? What are these two limits here? Let's talk about these limits and see why the rules work like they do. Some of you can say right away, oh, that's just three halves. Because you remember the rule from rational functions. If the degrees are the same, then the limit is just the ratio of leading coefficients. And that's true. But why is that the case? Here's the reason why. Because if you're, if you imagine this right here, if I divided everything by x, divide every single thing by x, what are you going to get? You'll get 3 plus 4 over x all over 2 minus 1 over x. And what's the limit as x goes to infinity of that? Well, the limit as x goes to infinity of this thing, what's 4 over a billion? It's really close to what? Zero. zero. So as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, these things go to zero, which means the whole top goes to 3 over 2. That's the reason that happens. Now look at this one. Try that same, that same trick. Divide everything by x now. The, the reason that this isn't 3 over 2 is because now when I divide everything by x, I'm going to have 3 x on the top still plus 4 over x all over 2 minus 1 over x and these things all go to 0 but this doesn't so your answer is infinity or does not exist there is no limit how about this one what's the limit as x goes to infinity of 3x plus 4 all over 2x squared minus 1. Zero. Why is it zero? Because if you divide everything by x, it would be 3 plus 4 over x. 3 plus 4 over x all over 2x minus 1 over x. And what's the limit as x goes to infinity of that mess? You're exactly right. Now this goes to zero and this goes to zero. And what does this go to? 3 over infinity is what? Zero. 0. And if you remember that, if, if, the deno if the degree of the denominator with rational functions, the degree of the denominator was bigger than the degree of the numerator, the, the vertical or horizontal asymptote was always the x-intercept. Why? Because it goes to 0. Toward infinity, to infinity, the limit goes to 0. Hit something like that, maybe. Toward negative infinity and toward positive infinity, the value of the function is getting closer and closer and closer to zero. That's the pictorial version of what you see right there, and that's the reason that that happens.